back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess. Today I'm filming one of my most favorite videos to film, and that would be an unhaul. As you guys know, I recently moved, and my husband and I were at the store yesterday, and I was like, you know what? I have to get an another bookshelf already because I have run out of space. And then I was looking at my shelves when I got home last night and realized there are quite a few books on there that I either don't want to keep or I didn't like or you know I just didn't really have a place for them anymore and I'm not the type of person to keep books like that because even though I didn't like a book or I don't have the desire to reread a book somebody else may so today's video is going to be me unhauling all of the shitty books that I don't want or all of the books that I read that I don't have a place for anymore but I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's go ahead and just get started now the first book that I have here actually broke my heart because I really really love this series but I hated this book now I'm gonna keep the rest of the books but I got probably about halfway through this and then ended up DNFing it. I gave it like two stars, although at this point I should probably change it down to one because I didn't even finish it. And it is Escape from Asylum. It is an Asylum prequel. This book was just really bad. I did not like the characters. I, I didn't like the storyline. I didn't like anything about it. I don't know. It was just really wasn't great. The main character, his name is Ricky, and he is sent to the pre-asylum. If you're familiar with the series, um, Dan Jordan and Abby go to this school, essentially, and the school used to be an asylum. And that series is really, really wonderful. It's kind of spooky. But this book is a prequel to that when the actual building that they go to school in is the asylum um but yeah I just didn't like this at all I thought it was really kind of awful and I don't normally say that because I always find something in a book that I like but there wasn't a damn thing in this book that I like so I am going to be donating this or probably selling it to the half price books near my house now if you guys have been here any amount of time you know that I am not a big fan of sci-fi or I didn't used to be a big fan of sci-fi but back in the day I did buy this series and I am going to be donating it or selling it half price because I just really didn't like it. Um, I don't know if it's because it's like teen and not necessarily YA, but it is the Row Agenda series by Richard Phillips. I've read the entire first book and half of the second book and I still just could not get into it. I like the premise of it. It is about a spaceship that lands in New Mexico, obviously where these kids live, and they kind of get into the spaceship and a lot of really crazy things start happening. I'm not necessarily sure what the age group is for this, like what it's targeted for. There are a lot of really crazy things that happen in this that would make me think that it is actually an adult book, um, but the characters are very, very young. They're like sophomores, juniors in high school, something like that. But I just did not like it. I could not get into it. I've read so many great sci-fi books recently that I'm like, yes, this is how sci-fi should be. This is this is not how sci-fi should be. Um, I'm sorry to anybody who likes this series, uh, but it's just not for me. I don't know. It was just really hard to get into. If, if by the first book I'm still not liking it, I probably just shouldn't keep it. This book is also really sad. This is Celestial Inventories by Stephen Resnick Tam. I was really excited to have this book and to read it. It's a bunch of short stories that this guy has put together. Um, he is a very, very great author. He's like a British fantasy author. Uh, but this is just not the book for me. None of these stories I particularly liked. Um, some of them are really creepy, which was what I was really looking for. But I've had this book for two or three years, and I think I got like halfway through it. And if I have trouble reading a short story book, I'm really just like, all right, whatever. Because at that point, if you've read like one or two stories and you still don't like it, it is clearly the author's writing and I just did not connect with his writing. So I'm also going to be donating this, although I'm very, very sad because I think the book is absolutely beautiful. I love the cover of this book. I love the colors. This is like my favorite color scheme. Um, but why the hell would I keep a book just based on its color? Somebody out there is going to love this book, but it just wasn't me. <laughs> Now the next book that I have here I got to page 33. I wanted to go see the movie but I never went and saw it. Um, it has gotten great reviews. The, the book has obviously not the movie. The movie did really really bad. But it is The Heart of the Sea by Nathaniel Philbrick. I really wanted to love this. I love historical fiction. I love history. I love fiction. They are like my favorite genres. However, I could not get into this book. Um, I've tried to read it since and I still didn't like it and it totally sounded like something right up my alley when I picked it up. So I'm going to be donating this as well because honestly, I just, I'm not in the mood to read a book like this and I don't know when I'm going to be in the mood to read a book like this again and I know if I feel the need to, I can pick it up for like $2. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and donate it. <laughs> now, I'm totally all for girl bosses. I'm all for kick-ass women. I just absolutely am. I think women doing their thing is just, uh, it's so wonderful to me. I think it's beautiful. However, I, for some reason, could not get into Amy Poehler's book. It was a little strange. I like her humor. I think her humor is very funny. However, a lot of this book is like self-deprecating humor. And if you're writing a book about your life, 
I just wanted a little bit more from it and I got about halfway through it and I'm just I just jane after it because as much as I love Amy Poehler I just I could not read this book um and someone's definitely gonna get a very very good use out of this it's like a really heavy sturdy book as well so it's still in really great condition so I'm gonna try to sell it to half price but as much as I love her I just did not love her book now, if you're familiar with me at all, you will know that I'm YouTube obsessed, whether it be booktube or just YouTube in general. I do watch a lot of like gaming videos, lifestyle videos, uh, booktube obviously, and I really enjoy supporting other YouTubers, no matter how big or how small they are. However, I just did not like this book, and I was so excited to get it, and I don't know if the problem with it was the Italian to English translation of the book. That was like my first thought, but it was just so poorly written. It was like something that I could have written in like the eighth grade, um, and yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and and probably try to sell this because somebody's gonna want it. It is Dreamhouse by Marzia or Kitty by Marzia here on YouTube. I just didn't like this book. I thought the story was really cool. It's about a girl who kind of gets locked in this house, but that's another problem I had with the story. Is she just chooses not to leave, and a lot of spooky things start happening. And I don't know. I was getting to like the good part of the book from what I've been told, but I just don't have any desire to read this because. I don't know, like I said, it, it was written, it seems like it was written by a very, very young child, and like I said, it could be because of the language, you know, her first language is Italian, I imagine that it was originally written and published in Italian, and then translated to other languages, um, I was watching kind of the release for it, and I saw that it was being translated, you know, as it was being translated, and when it was available in English, I did pick it up, however, I just did not like this book, I was not a fan, and I know that there are a lot of Cutie Pie Marzio fans out there that are going to want this book, it has a little bit of damage on the bottom, but Really, I, I highly doubt they're going to sell this for more than like 3 or $4, but I'm just going to go ahead and donate this, although I hear people get really mad about people when they talk about how bad this book is, but this book was pretty freaking terrible. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I find such satisfaction out of getting rid of books that I no longer want. I always am in the mood to make space for books that I really do want. I am not necessarily a book hoarder, but if you know, if you are a fan of books, if you read, obviously you're watching this video, so chances are you do read. Books are expensive, and I don't have the space or the money right now to be buying a crap ton of books, so I do enjoy donating or selling them so that I do have more room or more money to purchase more, because out with the old and in with the new, I guess. But I hope you guys are having a good week, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!